good as it looks? The answer is hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to Dinners with Ida. My name is Ida and I'm just someone who loves to share what I make for dinner to give you some inspiration and ideas of what you can make if you're looking to start cooking a little bit more. So if that sounds good to you, follow along because today I'm going to be making a really easy and simple chicken and rice that can be made in one pan along with some air fryer veggies to go along with it. It's going to be very healthy, easy to make, and most importantly, delicious. So let's start cooking. The first thing I have to do is chop up and prep all of the veggies. So I'm starting out with half of an onion and then a few carrots, chopping that into little pieces. If you have baby carrots, you can use that too. Setting those aside for now and then also start by crushing some garlic. I'm using three cloves of garlic here. That's it for the aromatics. Next, I'm gonna start prepping the air fried veggies. So I just have a bell pepper and a zucchini, which I just chopped into little strips and little half moon shapes. Finally, I have some mushrooms, which I'm just roughly chopping into about half an inch of thickness. The bell pepper, zucchini, and mushrooms are going straight into my air fryer basket, ready for later. Now that all the veggies are prepped and ready to go, the last step is to chop the chicken. So I'm just using two big and juicy boneless skinless chicken breasts that I'm just chopping up into one inch sized cubes. Over medium high heat in a big skillet, saute the onion, carrot, and garlic in about one tablespoon of olive oil and saute that for about three minutes before adding the cubed chicken. What I love about this dish is that it's so versatile. You can season this however you want. Like today, I just used some salt, red pepper flakes, smoked paprika, oregano, and cumin. Mix it all up to combine. Letting the chicken cook first on its own for about four minutes before adding the rice. The dry rice straight in. You don't need to rinse this at all. I like to use double the amount of liquid from rice, so in this case, I used one cup of rice and two cups of chicken stock. Mix this to combine, and then what you're gonna do is bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, reduce the heat to low, and you're going to let this continue to cook on low. While the rice is cooking, I'm gonna take this chance to get started on my air fried veggies and I'm just seasoning that with some garlic powder, paprika, salt, a little bit of oil and mix that all together and put that into my air fryer. Cooking this at the highest setting of my air fryer which is 400 Fahrenheit between 8 to 10 minutes depending on how powerful your air fryer is. About 15 minutes later, you'll see that most of the liquid has been absorbed for the rice and you know that it's ready when a small crust starts to form on the bottom, which is so delicious that you can easily scrape it off. The air fried veggies are ready as well and now all we have to do is put it all together, plating this with my air fried veggies and finally this is optional just slicing up some green onions because it looks so nice for that final touch. All right, it is ready. This is looking so yummy and colorful. We have our veggies, we have our perfectly juicy chicken breast, which has flavored the rice very nicely since they were cooked together. So let's give this a taste test. Buen provecho! Does this taste as good as it looks? The answer is yes. If you're looking for something easy and pretty much hands off to make during your week to week, you need to give this chicken, rice, and air fryer veggies a try. It's definitely a crowd pleaser. I'm gonna go and continue to enjoy this because it looks so good and it tastes so good. Thanks so much for following along. If you want to keep up with more recipes and meal inspirations, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks so much and until the next time, bye!